This is Tababusiu, a national monument and a birthplace for the nation of Basud. Actually, this is the palace with the most names. But to many, this is a place to reconnect with their culture, while some an opportunity to spend time with family and to keep the young and old in good shape. We made it! Um, I'm from Joburg. Um, it's my first time visiting Lesotho, so um, it was a life-changing experience. I was able to drink water from the springs. Dive far at the top. Was it easy going? Yeah, it wasn't easy, but when I slide down, it was easy. I grew up here, um, so yeah, my, I brought my whole family here and we, I took them up there. Tababusiu is now up for nomination as the World Heritage Site. But this is yet to pass mm. the vigorous test to prove its uniqueness to the world. It's quite a lengthy process because uh, there are expectations, of course, from UNESCO site that, um, first of all, all key stakeholders should have a buy-in, should have an understanding. What does this come with? What does it uh, entails? What, what are the expectations? Of, uh, from the, from uh, the stakeholders going forward once the site has been uh, declared as a World Heritage Site. The significance of this mountain is that ever since it was occupied by Mbrana Moshoeshoe, people flocked here who were running away from the, the Difakani or the intertribal wars and they were welcomed here. But that is not enough. That is not enough. So the advice was to look at to look at it in a much broader way. For instance, let's look at Difakani. Difakani then therefore links Lesotho with the region and other African countries because when you look at the period at which uh, all this the, uh, uh, the the events unfolded to get to a point whereby Moshoeshoe then got to Tawabusi and then Basotho came to be a nation. So that is very important. So such research is yet to be carried out as to, we, we are yet to build it in and, 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 and uh, mold it in such a way that it will then therefore support our nomination because that is what we need. We need to, to, to really give it a, an, uh, an international significance beyond Moshoeshoe as a very important figure to us as Basutu. While the nomination is a welcome news, there is much concern that this process should not intrude nor disrupt the common routines and rituals that are sacrosanct to ordinary people. So this is our bedroom. You see, this is where we were born as a nation. So let's fix our bedroom. Tababusiu, as I said, is, is a talisman of the Basutu, meaning it, it is not an area which when approached should be approached like uh, it's just another place, you know what I mean, where you want to call investors to come and throw in their money there and then we can go fishing of trout, you know what I mean. This is the property of the Basotho Nation, educated and uneducated, Christian and non-Christian, secular and non-secular, however you look at it. It means we have to be sequential in approaching the idea of Tababusu becoming anything. And while the World Heritage Site nomination idea is a noble one, relevant stakeholders should be the ones driving the process for a better buy-in and ownership. But that's a noble idea. Mm. That would make every Musoto very proud. Especially when next year, 2022, 2024, we'll be celebrating 200 years Lesotho being a country or a state. So that would augur well if it comes to that. But as far as I'm concerned right now, I don't want to lie. Mm. Nothing has been said. Nothing has, I've never heard of anything that Ratebe. So I cannot comment further other than say, yes, the idea would be so great. Every Musoto would embrace it and go a mile with it. For now, this iconic mountain has a special place where many can draw from a well of rich culture and history. Uh, the guy told us uh, what's the meaning of Tawabusihu. I think it's special because of the scenery and the history behind it. 
also we see the mountain that inspired the Sesotho hat, which was amazing to see as well. That's great. That's really nice out there. Quite a marathon, eh? <laughs> yeah, well, this mountain is 